and my fellow mobilizers are finishing off our Waco Drive assessment this morning. Since the end of February, we're, we've been going out and testing every signaled intersection along Waco Drive where the new sidewalks have been built. It's a five mile stretch. We got our last few intersections this morning. We're gonna see how the accessible pedestrian crossings, uh, accessible pedestrian signals for blind pedestrians work along this route and also the curb ramps and the sidewalks yep. and report our findings back to TxDOT. They've incorporated findings from an earlier assessment and we're seeing a lot of improvement. Accessibility. Yeah. Accessibility. Totally accessibility. No, there were many times I had to drop off onto the street going against traffic and it was a little bit harrowing. Raise the ambient noise. So you can increase the volume by tapping. Right. There are some of them that are too far back or too far to the side or too high even. And someone in a chair can't reach. Oh, really? Yeah. We, we wow. Know. To the accessible pedestrian signals, we've seen improvements compared. We did an assessment of the intersections under uh, I-35 that had been newly right. rebuilt last year. And things are a lot better on this one. We encountered some some intersections uh, here that had been the the fixes that we had put under I-35 were put in place on West Waco Drive. So our work is being our we're being listened to. There was the audio the audio signals were at best audible. Now they're actually audible on West Waco Drive for the ambient noise around. Yeah, a lot of ambient noise. Yeah. Absolutely. They have to be the right volume so you can find your, your corner and so you can hear. We're going to be bringing the findings back and then they will incorporate what we find this time into their next project. TxDOT has sent representatives to yeah. assist us with these, with yeah. these intersections. And especially they've connected us with the uh, Texas A&M Transportation Institute. So they ha have sent some folks out and they wrote their own reports and we're kind of getting known in the state of Texas <laughs> for this uh, wild thing we're doing. <laughs>